Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. How's it going everyone? Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. Today we're going to be talking about one of the weirdest mushrooms in the entire world. It's a native right here in the Pacific Northwest and it is known as the devil's tooth fungi or the bleeding tooth fungi or strawberries and cream. The Latin name is Hynellum pecchii and we're gonna be taking a look at this super mysterious mushroom. Is it deadly? Is it delicious? Let's find out, Mushroom Wonderland. Please hit like right now, go ahead and subscribe. This mushroom's called the bleeding tooth fungi or the devil's tooth fungi. Yes, I say fungi because fungi is wrong. Don't say that. Just, we don't say that. Its Latin name is Hydnellum pecchii or Hydnellum diablus. One time I saw a YouTube video that claimed the f most deadly mushrooms in the world and this picture was on the thumbnail, which is actually false. This is not a deadly mushroom. In fact, it's not even poisonous but it is considered inedible. It is so unpalatable. The texture is like tree bark or cork. The Hydnellum pecchii was named for a famous mycologist in the early 1900s named Charles Horton Peck, and this mushroom was affectionately named after him. In Latin, they like to just add a couple I's onto the end of English names like Smithii, Peckii, Jacksonii, and that makes it a Latin name. Also known as Hydnellum Diablos, which is, uh, Diablos is Latin for the devil. One of the common names is strawberries and cream because this mushroom looks a little bit like a Danish pastry. It looks like cream with little droplets of strawberry or raspberry jam on it. I can assure you it is not strawberries sprinkled on top of this mushroom. It's actually like water. The forest floor gets so soaked that water pulls up through the mushroom through osmosis and the little droplets form on the cap of the mushroom. There's a pigmentation inside that mushroom that turns it red. When it's really young, it's a pretty bright red, and as it gets older, it gets darker and looks a little bit more like blood. This can grow in big patches in the coniferous forest in the Pacific Northwest. It is a mycorrhizal mushroom, and it grows in association with Douglas fir, and fir trees, hemlock trees, spruce trees, pine trees, and so it has this relationship going on with the trees. So just like a lot of other mushrooms that we talk about on this channel, Hydnellum pecchii is a mycorrhizal mushroom. It's a fancy word meaning it has a relationship with these trees. These trees' roots go underground as much as you can see above ground. And mushrooms are much the same. Actually, the body of the mushroom grows under the soil and only the fruit grows on top of the soil. Hydnellum pecchii really likes a mature forest with very rich soil, very species rich forest. So when you find these mushrooms, you know you're in an older species rich kind of forest. And this loamy, really organic soil produces a lot of CO2 that this particular mushroom likes. I know a lot of people are eager to get out there and find Hydnellum pecchii, the bleeding tooth fungus. So when you're looking for it, look for a mature forest. Doesn't necessarily have to be old growth, but a species rich forest with a lot of moss on the ground, a lot of organic matter on the ground. The organic matter in the soil helps to produce a lot of CO2, which this particular mushroom likes. And so it grows, gets CO2 from the roots of these trees, and in return it gives some sugars to the trees. It's actually part of this mycorrhizal network that also chanterelles, lobster mushrooms, bolita sedalis, a lot of, lot of mushrooms here in the Pacific Northwest in the conifer forests. This mushroom is known to be used medicinally and it is still in studies as an anticoagulant. This mushroom contains a compound known as atromentin, which is a very well-known anticoagulant, stops blood clots from happening. It's also an antibacterial and could possibly be used in the treatment of the common pneumonia. Who knows, maybe even COVID-19. This mushroom also contains a compound known as thelophoric acid, which can be used in the treatment of Alzheimer's. Underneath this mushroom, there's not gills or pores, there's actually little teeth, kind of like on a hedgehog mushroom, and the spores drop out of these little teeth and they spread to other nutrient-rich forests. Pacific Northwest is one of the epicenters for these type of mushrooms. I find them right near sea level in the Puget Sound, usually late summer to early fall. They're kind of one of the earlier mushrooms they come out when the Boletus edilis are coming out. As this mushroom ages, it really goes through a transformation. It turns from this really white with red droplets mushroom into this brownish tan color and then it turns almost black by the time it's completely mature. You could look at this mushroom a month after it had first grown and had red spots all over it 
and now it's just a big black polypore looking mushroom on the forest floor, you'd have a hard time believing it was the same thing. Thank you for hitting subscribe here to Mushroom Wonderland. We are one of the premier mushroom channels here in the Pacific Northwest. There are several other mushroom channels, but this channel specifies in the Pacific Northwest, going from Northern California to British Columbia and as far east as Idaho. I'm Aaron Hilliard. Thank you. Peace.